Marc LaFrance, how's the tour going with the Backman Turner? Oh, it's going fantastic. We're having a great time. We've been through the States and we did uh, um, East, you know, Central Canada and the Maritimes. It's been really good. How's the trip to the Maritimes? Because uh, you guys don't come here often. It, it was a lot of fun. It was really good. We did uh, the last date we did in St. John's with 5440. That was really good. Halifax was great. And Sydney was, was a lot of fun as well. Yeah, beautiful out there. We had very good weather as well, which was nice. What type of uh, in drum endorsements do you carry on on this tour? Well, I'm uh, right now I'm in the midst of working some deals out. I'm going to be doing a deal with a, uh, a company out of the States called uh, XL, a stick that I'll be sponsoring. And, uh, you know, primarily I'm using, I try to use, I use different drums every every show. But I usually try to use uh, Ayat or DWs, which are really nice sets, really nice kits to play. And hey Mark, you got uh, any recording projects outside of all this? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be working on some, I'm hoping to do some more stuff uh, with Scholastic Books, which is a children's project. And I'm going to be doing some more uh, recording with the... Uh, with a band out of the out of the states doing some some uh, background background vocals because I I know as you may or may not know I've sung on you know probably about over a hundred albums or, or played uh, sang Motley Crue uh, Doctor Feelgood album Bon Jovi Keep the Faith album wow. a whole bunch of different stuff over the over the years so I, I've been pretty busy doing a lot of different projects uh, throughout my career so. Hopefully, uh, it will continue to go in that direction. No, I was not aware of that, and you must have a super great voice. Well, I do a lot of singing, background singing with Backman Turner Live as well. That's pr probably part of the reason why they, one of the reasons they hired me as well. I just don't drum, I sing as well, so it adds another dimension, right? Which is a positive thing, yes. So you you think you've appeared on over 100 albums, would you say, throughout the years? Yes, yeah, a lot, a lot of records, lots and lots. Yeah, which is a, a good thing. Something, too, I just noticed, you know, you are the drummer of Trooper in the 80s. Yes, I, I actually was the original drummer to replace the original drummer, uh, Tommy Stewart, back in the early 80s, and I toured with them for a couple of years. They were great guys. I really enjoyed playing. Unfortunately, I had to leave the band just because my I started doing so much studio work. It, I They couldn't have paid me enough to stay with them at that time because I was doing a lot of... Uh, jingles and album work so it was difficult to be on the road at that time is there any uh, video footage that ever surfaced with you and trooper we did some uh we did some television shows okay. uh cbc shows and so there's actually some footage out there of me performing with trooper yeah they were great there we had a i had a great time playing with those guys they, they are really great rock and band and they're still out there doing it oh yes and they'll they'll be doing it for a very long time still i'm sure how do you come about in uh, joining Backman Turner? Well, I've known uh, Randy for a long time, and he's uh, I play in a, a band called Cease and Desist. We do primarily kind of corporate stuff, and he's always been a fan of that band. Mick uh, Dallavie's been playing with Backman for about over eight years, I think, so it was kind of a natural thing, especially me being from Winnipeg. So we have in the band, we actually have... Uh, uh, you know, Fred, my, uh, Fred, Randy, and myself are... Uh, or Winnipeggers, so, and I think actually Brent, actually the guitar player Brent uh, Knutson, was uh, actually lived in Winnipeg for a while too. So I guess there's technically there's four of us that have come from Winnipeg at some point or another. So it was kind of a natural fit, and uh, yeah. So he asked me to play along with Brent. We joined together, and it's been a it's been a great gig. How far is this tour gonna go? Just finishing as a Canadian. Well, we're always doing a variety of different things. We're going to be playing right now. We're continuing. I'm flying off tomorrow. Uh, we're going to start in Thunder Bay and working our way across Western Canada, and we'll finish up here in uh, in uh, Vancouver. And then I'm sure next year. I'm not sure, but there may be some. There's a, some other dates, but we haven't. Nothing's firm, 100% firmed up. But I'm sure we'll be doing some more stuff in the future as well. And you as a vocalist, background vocalist on albums, I'm sure you fly over to Los Angeles all the time. Well, um, a lot of this stuff was done here in Vancouver, especially when, when Little Mountain Sound was happening. But nowadays, with technology, uh, 
people will just, you know, I, I, I do singing for people um, all over the world. The beauty, about the beauty about the Internet and technology is I can record in a studio here, upload the files, and then they can mix it into their, their tracks wherever they are. So you can be, it doesn't matter where, we, where you are today, you can, you can uh, basically get your tracks through the Internet, so, uh, and it can be mixed uh, later. So it works really well. And as this, you're doing it yourself, like you're the producer of your own voice? Yeah, I'll help produce my own voice with another, usually with another engineer. There's so many people that I know that have studios, so uh, I just go into their facility. Or uh, I'll probably be getting my own setup happening pretty soon, too. So it's, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, a cool thing to do. Mark, what's your uh, view on YouTube and uh, great stuff like that? Uh, well, I think it's all great. I think the uh, the technologies are all real positive. Obviously, the music industry has taken a bit of a hit with the MP3s, but I think it'll all work its way out. I'm not one of those doom and gloom guys. I think it's all positive. There's more positives than negatives, so I'd have to say it's uh, it's all good. I like uh, you know it's an amazing thing now. You just got to be careful because you got to make sure you're on top of your performance all the time because somebody's always videotaping you, right? You right. end up on YouTube, so. <laughs> Yeah, as that it it makes the musicians um, work harder. Well, I think so. You got to be make sure you're on top of your performance all the time. You can't be sloughing off. That's for sure. Well, that's great, um, Mark. Thanks uh, for taking the time. Well, thank you for uh, having me uh, on this interview. I really appreciate it. And uh, hello to all the Backman Turner fans. And you know, keep your keep your uh, your ears to the to the internet or whatever. And I'm sure you'll be able to you'll be hearing more from us or continue to hear a lot from us. Excellent stuff. We well, have a great one and okay. uh have a great finishing tour there and, uh, for the Canadian one. Okay, thank you very much. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.